1932 S. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 66 by NGC. Extraordinary premium gem quality for a key date Washington Quarter issue that enjoys strong demand throughout the numismatic grading scale. Delicate champagne gold iridescence dresses surfaces that are fully lustrous and softly frosted. Both the razor-sharp strike and outstanding preservation are also praiseworthy attributes. He 3 1932 dated issues of the new Washington design type are the only quarters produced by the United States Mint from 1931 through 1933. The Great Depression served to limit coinage of many denominations during the early to mid-1930s, and the quarter was no exception. At just 408,000 coins struck, in fact, the 1932S has the lowest mintage in the Circulation Strike Washington series, and it is the rarest issue of its type in gem mint state after only the 1932D. 1963D Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 read by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez from PCGS, the 1963D Lincoln Cent is the toughest Lincoln Cent from 1930 to date to find in MS66 red condition, even tougher than the 1931S in MS66 red. The second toughest Lincoln Cent in MS66 red after 1930, is the 1962D and with the 1973S being the third toughest in MS66 grades. Most 1963D Lincoln cents are found with nicks, specks, spots and scratches. They are also very weakly struck and are very dull and lackluster in their appearance. A few coins can be found with some decent luster but more than likely, the coin will be plagued by one of the other aforementioned defects. MS67 specimens are rare and fetch pretty nice premiums. This superb gem was sold for $14,625 with buyer's fee. 1946s Roosevelt dime with repunched mint mark and double die reverse, graded in mint state 67 plus full bands by PCGS. The coin is composed of 90% silver and 10% copper. Its surfaces exhibit lustrous and mostly sharply struck features, accompanied by amber, rose, and olive green tones. Notable die doubling is evident, particularly on the reverse lettering and face value. Additionally, the mint mark S shows clear evidence of being punched over another S positioned differently. This specific coin was sold for $600 on December 5, 2023. 1976s Bicentennial Quarter Overstruck on a Struck Cent. Graded as PR67 read by NGC. The Bicentennial Quarter was the sole design change to the Washington Quarter between its 1932 introduction and the 1999 advent of the State Quarter Series. It was struck in 1975 and 1976, though all examples bear 1976 dates. As a single-year type, off-metal specimens are very rare. In fact, a search of our online archives, which date to 1993, failed to find another proof bicentennial quarter struck on a scent planchet. This mint error was struck aligned with the collar dye at 6 o'clock. The types are complete, though Washington's hair is mostly indistinct. Quarter dollar is partial and blurry. It ended up selling for $9,000. 1925s Lincoln cent. Graded in mint state 64 plus read by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1925s Lincoln cent is scarce in mint state with original red color. Choice examples are particularly elusive, and finer pieces are rare. This plus graded near gem displays mainly copper orange luster but also shows wisps of delicate rose and pale green hues. Only a few specks are present. Struck from worn dyes, as usual, with metal flow lines on the obverse. Evidence of heavy dye usage is more obvious on the obverse than the reverse. Sold on December 14, 2023 for $11,400. 1955 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in Mint State 63 read by PCGS. Popular and very scarce double die Lincoln sent with full, bold doubling on the date and obverse lettering. According to David Lawrence Coin Auctions, a select example that seems incredibly undervalued as compared to the prices that BN and Airbay coins typically achieve at auction. Highly lustrous and still fully red. This rarity ended up selling for $7,200. 1942 Proof Washington Quarter. Graded as PR64 by PCGS and later confirmed by CAC. According to NGC, proof sales rose about 40% over those of 1941 and would have continued their rapid climb, were it not for the interruption of World War II. This turned out to be the last year of proof coinage until 1950. The Philadelphia Mint coined some 28,000 proof quarters just to have the 21,000 offered for sale. An additional 123 appear in published figures, but these coin were reserved for a say and subsequently destroyed. The proof quarters of 1942 were well made overall, though the problem of overpolished dies left many coins with poor or missing details among the design features of lowest relief. Gems are plentiful through PF67, 
but examples grading higher are very rare. This PR64 specimen was sold for $216 on December 13, 2023. 1955 Proof Lincoln Scent. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. Shown as a truly memorable coin in a Proof Lincoln Scent of any date. This is a glorious specimen, as the assigned grade suggests, with virtually flawless surfaces dressed in vivid fire orange mint color. Watery fields support satiny design elements, the entire package smooth in hand and virtually pristine. The proof mintage of this issue is 378,200 pieces, not overly generous for the decade, and paltry in comparison to those of later date issues in the Proof Lincoln series. This super rare gem ended up selling for $50,400. 1952 D. Franklin half dollar in mint state 67 with full bell lines. The majority of certified 1952 D. half dollars are designated as full bell lines and that is unsurprising, as submissions are always value-based. PCGS has examined nearly 7,000 examples of this issue, mostly in grades below MS66. Grading totals at NGC parallel those at PCGS. This piece is an amazing superb gem with a bold strike, and it is tied for the finest that either service has examined. Both sides have brilliant, frosty luster within a light gold tone frame. It was sold for $6,600. Number 5. 1916 D. Mercury Dime. Graded as very good 8 by PCGS. According to Grading Service, the 1916 D. Mercury Dime is one of the most heralded key dates of 20th century numismatics. The 1916 D. is rare in mint state and very rare in gem condition. The strike is usually very sharp and I'd estimated that 80% of more of the mint state survivors have fully struck crossbands. Luster is typically modest. Many examples have some degree of toning. This specimen displays massive circulation wear and numerous contact marks. But all letterings are present and readable. It was sold for $1,560 on December 12, 2023. Attractively toned 1951 D. Roosevelt dime. Graded in mint state 68 full bands by PCGS. Splendid olive gold and reddish orange iridescence yields to brilliance in only a few isolated areas. Highly lustrous with fulsome mint frost, this pristine looking superb gem really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. 1927 S. Lincoln Scent. Graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. Full red examples of this San Francisco issue are challenging in any grade, and they are rare in gem condition with none numerically finer. This piece displays satiny copper orange luster and is well struck, though minor dye erosion is evident in the fields. Housed in an old green label holder. It was sold for $16,800. 1910 S. Lincoln Scent. Graded in Mint State 67 red by PCGS. According to David Hall, the 1910S has long been considered a semi-key date in circulated grades, as have all 1909-1915S mint Lincolns. The mintages of these earliest Lincoln sent S mints is considerably lower, with the exception of the key date 1914D, than all of the Denver and Philadelphia issues. In circulated grades, the 1910S is about the equal of the 1913S, and those two are the easiest of the 1909-1915S mints to find in circulated grades. In gem full red MS65 or better condition, the 1910S is far more plentiful than any of the other early S mints, though it is relatively scarce. In fact, you have to go all the way to 1930 to find a S mint that's easier to find in gem condition than the 1910S. This issue is usually found with a decent strike. The color on original coins is often more light reddish brown than red red. This rare specimen ended up selling for $18,150. 1918 D. Lincoln Scent. Graded in Mint State 66 Red by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, softly lustrous mint orange surfaces exhibit bursts of rich rose and fiery orange iridescence, largely on Lincoln's portrait. A splash of deep royal blue and fiery orange graces the reverse. A sharply struck specimen from the first year with Victor David Brenner's initials on the truncation of Lincoln's shoulder. In 1909 the initials were removed from the reverse design and didn't reappear again until 1918. This gem fetched a sum of $25,850. 1995 Lincoln Scent with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 66 Red by PCGS. According to the Cherry Picker's Guide, this well-known variety was, at one time, featured on the front page of USA Today, heightening its appeal. Doubling is strongest on Liberty and in God, although it is visible elsewhere. This specimen is lustrous and sharply struck, mentionable distractions are minimal. It ended up selling for $168 on December 13, 2023. Circulated, worn and tarnished 1909 SVDB scent. 
graded as fine 15 by PCGS. Medium circulation rub is evident on higher points. The visual appeal is diminished because tarnish has accumulated around the lettering and device elements of the coin. It ended up selling for $1,050. 1915s Buffalo Nickel. Graded as MS65 by PCGS and proven by CAC. According to Heritage Auctions, peach orange, rose, and powder blue tones grace highly lustrous and beautifully preserved surfaces. Razor sharp design definition enhances the appeal. A thin die crack travels through the date. From a mintage of 1.5 million coins, yet only 50 submissions are certified finer at PCGS. It was sold for $4,200. A silver eagle with die adjustment strike. According to Heritage Auctions, mint errors on silver eagles are rare and in high demand. This coin was produced while adjusting the die during the installment of new working dies in the press. The dies were initially spaced too far apart, but much of the design was not brought up. The area of the date is among those not struck up, though the bottom edges of the numerals are visible the date is possibly 1987 or 1991, though an exact match is impossible. The coin is brilliant and satiny and lacks any severe abrasions. It was sold for $2,640. 1969s Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in Mint State 64 read by PCGS. Bill Fivas and J.T. Stanton describe the 1969 SDDO Lincoln sent thus, the publicity this coin has received over its lifetime has been enormous, hence the very high values, which are well deserved. One does not even need a loop to discern wide, pronounced doubling to all of the lettering and digits on the obverse. This gem is an attractive piece, with warm, even, medium orange luster to both sides. There are few blemishes of any kind, and most are so small as to be easily overlooked by the unaided eye. It was sold for $86,250. Here is 1945 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS-68 condition with full steps. This delectable superb gem exhibits virtually flawless surfaces. The strike is razor sharp throughout, and there is not even a single detracting abrasion. Also beautifully toned, both sides are layered in soft pastel iridescence of sandy gold, pale pink, ice blue and mint green. Simply gorgeous. The surfaces are simply incredible in their preservation and are graced by delicate pastel hues. It was sold for $2,880. 1957 Proof Lincoln Scent. Graded as PR67 Ultra Cameo by NGC. According to NGC, proof set sales again nearly doubled from the previous year, but a figure of more than a million proof sets seemed to scare many in the coin business. The speculative market in such coins collapsed under the weight of overproduction, and this set was a drug on the market for the next 20 years. This immense mintage resulted in a large population of fully red gems, but most of these have little or no contrast. Cameo pieces are not rare, but ultra cameo specimens are very rare in relation to the total mintage. 1922 No D sent with strong reverse. Graded as VF25 by PCGS, VF standing for very fine according to coin grading scale. No cents were struck at the Philadelphia Mint dated 1922, the only such emission of the small cent denomination. Cents were coined in Denver that year. Collectors were thus mystified when occasional cents were encountered in commerce bearing the 1922 date but without a letter D below the date. Eventually, numismatists determined that three die pairs of 1922 D cents lack the D die pair 1 and 3 have a weak reverse and sometimes show portions of the D die pair 2 has a strong reverse and never shows a remnant or ghost of a mint mark. This circulated specimen was sold for $840. 1927 S Mercury Dime in Mint State 67. Comes with CAC approval. The 1927s Mercury Dime is scarcer than many other issues from the 1920s in mint state. Any coin grading finer than MS65 is rare, regardless of the sharpness of the Fassi's bands. This is the sole finest non-full bands coin at PCGS and CAC, and it is numerically equaled by a lone NGC coin in the same grade. PCGS reports MS67 full bands examples that are arguably finer. Brilliant, satiny mint luster complements the pristine surfaces. The Fassi's bands show near full definition. It was sold for $7,500 on December 14, 2023. Number 7. 1952 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by NGC. Attractively toned quarter dollar with amazing preservation level for an almost century-old coin. Strong iridescence is evident around the right borders of obverse side. Device elements are well struck. This specimen was sold for $1,085.62 with buyer's fee. 1921 Lincoln sent in MS67 red condition. According to NGC, the minting of cents at Philadelphia dropped off rapidly during 1921, 
as the huge numbers struck during the previous five years proved quite sufficient to meet current demand during this recession year. Unlike most Philadelphia Mint cents, this date is a bit scarce in fully red gem condition. Worn examples are plentiful. This PCGS graded superb gem, displays dynamic yellow golden color with touches of orange red highlight. It was sold for $12,759. 1919 D Lincoln cent. Graded in mint state 66 plus red by PCGS. This Denver issue is elusive in high red grades, and premium gems are rare in this color category. This is among a small handful of plus designated pieces reported by PCGS. A gorgeous, full mint red beauty with luster that almost cartwheels. Next to impossible to find at this registry worthy grade level. It was sold for $13,250. 1963 D. Franklin half dollar struck on a silver dime planchet. Graded in mint state 63 by NGC. An important off metal planchet error, this being the rarest variant known on a Franklin half dollar. It is also among the most visually stimulating due to the wide size discrepancy between the dime planchet and the intended half dollar. I appeal is superb. It was sold for $7,050. 1949 D. Jefferson Nickel with repunched mint mark D over S. Graded in mint state 67 FS by PCGS. FS standing for full steps. A beautiful superb gem, iridescent champagne apricot toning blends with billowy mint luster. Impressively full in striking detail, both sides are also expertly preserved and expectably smooth for the assigned grade. Writing in the 6th edition, Volume 1 of the Cherry Picker's Guide, Bill Fivas and J.T. Stanton have this to say about the 1949 D-S nickel, this variety is quite rare in mint state and highly sought after. Were the authors speaking only of superb gems such as this, the more appropriate description would be very rare. This 5-cent piece ended up selling for $18,000. 1961 D. Franklin half dollar. Graded in mint state 66 FBL by PCGS. FBL is a designation standing for full bell lines. In the context of Franklin half dollars, full bell lines refers to the level of detail visible on the reverse side of the coin where the Liberty Bell is depicted. The Franklin half dollar, minted from 1948 to 1963, features a design by John R. Sinek, and the Liberty Bell is a prominent element on the reverse. Full bell lines means that the horizontal lines on the Liberty Bell should be well-defined and fully struck, without any weakness or breaks. Collectors often use this term to describe the quality of the bell's depiction on the coin. This tone specimen ended up selling for $1,500. 1943 Lincoln cent struck on a dime planchet. Graded in mint state 65 by NGC. According to Stax Bowers, fully brilliant and sharply struck on all but the extreme edge of the coin where the smaller dime planchet was stretched nearly to the width of the Lincoln cent by the force of the dies. Blazing white and lustrous with no signs of toning. The strike is so sharp even the VDB on Lincoln's shoulder is clear a feature often lacking on normal 1943 cents on steel planchets. Of course all 1943 mint errors have a sort of magical appeal because of the fame of the 1943 cents struck on regular copper planchets, of which only a modest number exist. The fame of the 1943 mint errors continues to grow as new price records are reached each time these appear for sale. Finding any such planchet error like this cent on a dime from 1943 is a great fortune for the student of 20th century errors, but in the gem grade this is truly a connoisseur's prize worthy of the finest mint error collection. It was sold for $10,575. Number 1. 1926 D. Lincoln cent. Graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, Satiny, Bright copper surfaces exhibit an uncommonly bold strike in a survivor of this well-known strike rarity among 1920s Lincoln cents. Solid gem quality throughout, and worthy of inclusion in another advanced collection of this popular and widely collected series. The 1926 D cent is relatively common overall but scarce in higher mint state grades. Strike and surface quality are the two compromising factors that make this issue so conditionally rare and less than 200 coins are thought to survive in gem condition and above from an original mintage of just over 28 million pieces. This specimen was bargained for $4,800. 1973 S. Kennedy half dollar struck on a bronze cent planchet. Graded as PR66 Brown by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, one of the most intriguing and desirable errors from the John Whitney Walter collection, this piece is struck on a bronze scent planchet that is expanded to an ovoid shape in a vain effort to fill the space between the half dollar dies. The strike is generally centered, both sides with sharp central devices and all of those around the peripheries faint to absent. The S mint mark is sharp, and the date is discernible with the digits 73 most complete. 
beautifully toned in a blend of glossy copper brown and powder blue, traces of original bright pink color remain in the centers. It was sold for $7,800. 1946 S. Lincoln sent with repunched mint mark S over D. Graded in mint state 66 plus red by PCGS. Red book listed over mint mark variety that was discovered in the mid-1990s, the echoes of the underlying D subtly reveal themselves within the curves of both S loops. Device elements are sharply struck, and surfaces are lustrous. It was sold for $2,031.75 with buyer's fee. 1942 Jefferson Nickel. Type 1 dye variety. Graded as PR68 plus by NGC. This silky smooth example shimmers with a delightful satin to modestly reflective finish and displays a veritable sunset of color at the peripheries easing into the centers on both sides. The Type 1 does not have a P-mint mark. While the Type 2 silver does have a P-mint mark. Both coins have similar mintages. The 1942 Type 1 proof Jefferson nickel can be easily obtained up to about PR66 condition. PR68 plus specimens like this one are considered rare. It was sold for $3,600. 1998 Lincoln sent with wide AM on the reverse. Graded in mint state 67 red by PCGS. This interesting variety was produced using the wide AM reverse hub that was intended for use in striking proof 1998s Lincoln sense. According to Stax Bowers, a glowing pinkish rose superb gem with a full strike and nary a distracting blemish to either side. It was sold for $724.50. 1919 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. An impressive rarity from the early portion of the ever popular Lincoln Cent series, this important gem is far finer than the typically offered mint state survivor. We see none of the bothersome striking incompleteness and muting to the surfaces often associated with this issue. Instead, both sides retain full mint bloom and a warm medium orange hue, tinges of pale rose color also intermingled over the surfaces. The strike is sharp throughout and nearly complete. It was sold for $14,950. 1964 Kennedy Half Dollar. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. This is a virtually pristine example of the premier proof issue in the popular and widely collected Kennedy Half Dollar series. Untoned silver-white surfaces allow ready appreciation of a boldly cameoed finish. Proof mintage, 3,950,762 coins, the vast majority of which are nowhere near as attractive as this premium quality specimen. It was sold for $1,680. 